Hello, saviors and sacrificial lambs. My name is TB Skine, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3, where we've spent basically the entirety of the previous episode just talking to people because Mass Effect is an RPG, and Mass Effect 3 especially seems to have fully remembered that that's part of the fun. So now, having exhausted, I think, pretty sure, everything on the spaceship, we can go... and look at the galaxy map. Let's see, where do we want to go? Is the Cerberus lab in Sigurd's Cradle? Oh yes, out in Sigurd's Cradle. Rescue the Turian Primarch, that's the story mission. That progresses the story. We don't necessarily need to do that. Uh, Yeah, you know what? Let's hit Sigurd's Cradle in the lab first. Let's Let's get that out of the way. Yeah, no, not that one. It's so slow. Well, found a war asset, that's something. No! Didn't mean to do that. Where the hell is the other thing? The Reapers are gonna show up in just a second. At which point, yeah, oh, it's over there. Uh, it's that planet, okay. Bye. Evasion successful. Cause they just, they just progressively, oh, fuck off. They progressively speed up. Oh no, okay. Mm. Where is it? God damn it, okay. The more they chase you, it's quite annoying. Got some fuel, that's nice. Okay, let us land and do the thing. <laughs> this armor looks so dumb. Like, it's so bad. Uh. No, I just want to be able to see what I'm selecting. Oh my god, right, that's the that's the just a car cosplay. <laughs> Ooh, that one's kinda nice. Yeah, let's go with that one. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret Cerberus lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how Cerberus is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what Cerberus is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. Oh, right, I remember this mission. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, that's, this is this one. Okay. Right, okay, for this, I'm, with. uh... <laughs> This is just a combat gauntlet. Like, you have to grab... You have to grab a bunch of artifacts, and then you fight some 
Cerberus dudes, and then you grab some artifacts, and then you fight some Cerberus dudes. It gets real... a lot, real quick. Um, and it, there's no, there's no story anything, there's no real relevance to the narrative. Commander, we've got our best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. Okay, difficulty back up. That one was boring. But it secures some war assets, I believe. And some funding, which is pretty damn important for us. Yeah. Let's see, any new messages? Nope, cool. Let's go recover the Prothean artifact. Eden Prime, now there is a familiar place. Eden Prime, this is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. How bad? A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, Jenkins, to a Geth drone. Reports said Saren had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. Not on my watch. Damn straight, Lola. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but... they killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone, get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. Ooh, it occurs to me that I might have brought the wrong weapons for this one. Remembering what's down there. <laughs> Oh, well, we'll see how it works out. It's not like I can't beat him, but, you know. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. They came back after the Geth attack. They'll come back from this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. But they'll be stronger for it. No, they'll just be hurt by it, James. But yeah, no, wow, I, idyllic. Like, I love the housing. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Hey, Liara, you ever find dinosaurs while you're digging around? No, dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Oh, you were joking. Hey, I just like dinosaurs. Valid, James, valid. But it is the thing, I like, like, all the colony housing and all the housing you ever see on colony worlds, it's always this shit. Like, it's always, like, cobbled together containers standing in for proper housing. Which, for me, was always a little bit funny, as, like, Eden Prime is supposed to be this idyllic garden world, like, perfect, la la la, we have a colony in space, da da. Like, it's it's supposed to be this wonderful, sort of, idyllic example to the, to the universe, kind of, wonder colony. And, like, <laughs> it's like, but it's all just fucking containers, man. It's, it's container houses. It's shitty. 
Um, but again, that's that's a production thing. It's like you don't really have time enough to craft custom housing for every single environment. So you create these modular housing bits that sort of are justified in the in the lore of the game. And then you can just kind of slap those down on like literally wherever uh, you need them in the game. And it all, yeah, it all makes sense. This is coherent world building. Anyway, processing update. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increased food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony, and if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. It's, it's, it's very lucky that, like, the bad guys just leave all the details of their evil plan lying around. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turn the Protheans into? No, an original, unmodified Prothean, who's still alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little... faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prize knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. This could be what we need to finish the Prothean device. I hope so. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Oh, here comes the dickhead cavalry. Uh, didn't get the headshot. Ow! Jesus! Right, they shoot too. There we go. Let's get moving before more of them come back. They are extremely annoying because they can just they can just kill your shields at will. Like they just point and click and then your shields are gone. And that is troublesome. Troop deployment update. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighborhood continue standard protocol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in that area. If the locals knew that we were understaffed, they could do some serious damage. Grab some equipment. What about over here? Ooh, dead people. Ooh, really dead people. Oh. There he is. There we go. Got rid of him. Oh god, there's so many of them! Grab 
have the ammo. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Yeah, cool. Uh, we need to loot the place first. Well, that's... They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. That was a dire scene to walk into. Any useful resources? No? Okay. Oh, motherfucker. Okay. Okay, we're out of range of the turret, so that's our saving grace here. Ah! Shepard! Ah! Oh, that was annoying. Okay, let's go find the pod data this time. will be honored in the coming empire. I've got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video, and the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. Okay. But yeah, a lot of talk of Empire there. Hmm, I wonder if that means anything. Okay. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. Okay. Damn it. Oh well, just warp him to death. This time we're just not gonna go in range of the turret. That's all we're gonna do. There we go. That worked. I could do with an ammo pickup. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Well, med kit at least. Time for cutscenes!
How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life bots. Not without a boss fight first, we don't. Backup forces are here. Okay. Combat engineer. You are priority number one. Because your goddamn turrets are a problem I cannot afford to deal with. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Is that the last one? Of that group, anyway. Okay. I want a heavy, a heavy pistol. And I want a sniper spot. I want vantage. Yes. What? No! You little shit! Jackass! Okay, so far so good. Oh, Jesus! Why did I say that? Why did I say so far so good? Why did I say that out loud? Why did I why did I use my words to articulate that sentiment? Yes. Why did I do that? Why did I say it? Then we have everything we need to open the pod. I should not have said that. I shouldn't have said it. And I regret it. Backup forces are here. Can I get some ammo? Please. Ammunition. Ammunition. No? Okay. As I recall, there's at least one fight with a mech or two in this mission. Or am I remembering wrongly? Ammo. Good. Okay. Well. Oh, fuck, there it is. Right, and it has a bunch of... Ah, it has a bunch of little shit guys supporting it. Time for crowd control. Bye. Whew. Oh no! Oh god! Oh, this is bad.
Yeah, I figured someone would go down. Uh... Okay, we're down to the armor now. Which is where I want us to be. Come on, shatter, you goddamn stupid glass. There it is. Fuck you. There. You can open the life pot now. Ah. <sighs> And then you can use it, <laughs> which is fun, but... Ugh. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. He's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system. Not to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari, human. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. 
Shepard, why would he know what that is? A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. Hmm. We've never met one before. Nothing wrong with playing it safe. Should we be worried? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heeded? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. Then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer.
We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? Ah, Javik. <laughs> what can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? 
We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So, could you read something about this room? Do the party trick, Javik. form of incubation, the DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Though I still need time to recover, the shock has not worn off yet. I understand. This must be a hell of an experience for you. We're just glad to have you aboard, Javik. Javik is a lot of fun as a character. Specifically because, like, like, um... The first Mass Effect game, the first two of them, indulge in sort of the the mythology of the progenitor species. Like, oh, once upon... Like, this sort of prelapsarian fantasy of once upon a time, there was a great species that spanned the galaxy. Great technology. Oh, but they were lost to time. There was a golden age long before us where, like, the science was better understood and culture was more advanced. And Liara, of course... As we saw in 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 like in the mission itself, is is fully bought into this fantasy of like the Protheans. Oh, they must have been so refined. They must have been so wise. They must have been so kind, so compassionate. And then one of them shows up, and it's fucking Javik over here, <laughs> who's like a, who's like several flavors of space racist, like the ultimate space boomer. 
And like, but who also like, as he tells us himself, he has only ever lived through war. Like all he has ever known his entire goddamn life is war. War with the Reapers, war with the machines. Like that's, that's literally the definition of his entire existence. So yeah, he's a bit of an extremist because like, that's that's what war does to you. And we are denied access to these like imaginary golden age prelepsarian Protheans <clears throat> with their great wisdom and their compassion, like like all these imagined mythical qualities, which they simply do not have. Um have you seen our newest crew member? You mean the biggest story in fifty thousand years that I can in no way talk about? Say yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. It's very funny, like that Javik is is like that they the way they chose to bring a Prothean forward was fucking Javik over here. It's like with his we shall rule the galaxy in a glorious empire. Oh uh, conquest and slavery over here. Like it's, it's very funny. And it's a good way to sort of it's a good way to subvert that trope and sort of and like again engage with it is like this thing of like if you have a galaxy spanning empire from long long ago why why would you assume that they were benevolent right like if, if these people spread out absolutely everywhere and dominated every space and every culture that they ever came into contact with why would you assume that they are benevolent at all like these are these are these are freaking like these are it's like it's like um like if 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 the if the pre-lapsarian like if we discovered the ruins of an ancient civilization on Mars and it turned out to be the fucking Warhammer Space Marines like that's basically what it is and we're sort of imagining oh they communed with a machine spirit they must have been all spiritual and like oh they must have they had great faith in this wonderful golden god that they worship it's like no it's the fucking emperor of mankind a thousand dead souls are sacrificed to him every day like <laughs> uh. Like, that's basically what Javik is, and I love it. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automat on cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Okay. There should be some new dialogue around the ship now, though. Commander, you may want to check in on shuttle pilot Cortez down in the armory. Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. For what it's worth, our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. Commander? Commander? Indeed. So a Prothean? A real live Prothean. Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. Commander? There definitely was some bouncing from Liara. <laughs> See the feed from Paladin? It's brutal. And the meat the Turians are holding. The birds don't quit when things get ugly. I'll give them that. The birds. You shouldn't be calling them that, I think. I think you probably shouldn't be calling them the birds. Recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking with him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. Sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. 
Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Everything is in order. The private messages terminal has new co respondents. The things this Prothean must have seen. If they had the technology to preserve someone for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. I must give him time to get his bearings, but goddess, when will we get another civil chance to learn so much about this civilization? Attached notes on Prothean. Uh. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean Shepherd. There's so much he could tell us. It's good to see you. Okay. Anyone else we need to talk to? I don't think so. I think we've talked to everyone. Get near where we're going. And uh, let you all know that if you have enjoyed hanging out in the world of Mass Effect 3 with me, you can hit the like, comment, and or subscribe buttons down below. That'll let you know when new episodes are coming out. If you want to watch more Mass Effect 3 right now, right this second, well, some more might be available in the playlist for you. You can uh, go check it out, and if there is, you can become a member of the channel to get early access to it before it goes live to everybody else. I also have a Patreon, a merchandise store, and a chip jar, so if you want to give me money for some reason, you can do that. But if you don't want to, or you're not in a position to be able to, you absolutely do not have to. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to wash your hands and take your vaccines, and act with solidarity when you can with those who are worse off than yourself.